songs is my name. Yeah. Shout it brand new. Brand new. Fresh out the box. Fresh out the box. I think she came here with a girlfriend. Shout it brand new. Brand new. Fresh out the box. Fresh out the box. Tonight I'm gonna be your husband. Alright. Men's dance. Entertainment. Uh, TLH tonight. We're here with Trace Bomb from the Frank of his um. Is released already on September 1st. Well, how are you? How are you doing? I'm feeling great. How are you doing? I'm great. So now I follow you on Twitter. Believe yeah. I follow you. You you look like the king of Twitter. <laughs> you like the king. You update all the time. Yeah. Now, like, why do you think? I mean, every time you go live, you have thousands of people following you. Why do you think people are so interested in what Trey Song has to say? Uh, I think it's it's because of people know my beginnings and you know the people that were there from the beginning. I think kind of. Infected, you know what I mean? Like the people that are just learning about me are interested as to why everybody else is interested. And once they get there, I think they see that I'm authentic. They see that I work hard at what I do, and that I'm, um, you know, I, I love what I do. You know what I mean? I love the people that support me. So, uh, you know, I think hard work pays off, and when you when you consistently do something at a, at a good pace, and you know, you remain humble. And you, Thank God for your blessing. It's only a moment, uh, matter of time before it, it all comes to a head and makes sense. Now, I know, like, you just mentioned being humble and everything, and um, I'm sure, like, you're probably used to the fans and fame right now, but do you have any moments where people have to keep you in check? And if so, who keeps you in check? Who keeps you up with it? I mean, I, I keep around with me the same people that were here with me since I began, so, you know, it's, it's no yes, man. And it's, it's, it's a brotherhood. I, you know, that's just the type of man I am. Alright, so as your beginning stuff, I know you're really close with your mom. Yeah. I know that I've, I heard you mention her a lot. Now, um, how does your relationship with your mom affect your relationship with women? Like, is it the same qualities that your mom have? You look for in women? Or? Oh, that's a good question. My mother's a good woman, and of course, she, she set the bar very high for. Uh, <laughs> what I would like a woman to be. Uh, but in the same token, I know how to separate the two. You know what I mean? Uh, my mother and I kind of grew up together and I was basically raised by women, strong women that, that didn't have men in their lives. So I definitely look for a woman with a backbone and a woman that's independent, but a woman that at the same time knows how to be a woman when a man steps around. Okay. Now since we're all women, I cop the anticipation mixtape. And it was all, you know, no, I, 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 I got the yeah. mixtape. I downloaded the mixtape. Yeah, okay. was free. Yeah. I downloaded the mixtape. So it was a lot of slow songs, a lot of baby makers. And I was just wondering, is that like a, a, a prelude to, to Ready? I mean, is it is it all about sex? Is there more to Trey Song? I mean, I don't think that anticipation is all about sex. You know, and, and most of them songs I'm talking about making love, which is what you do with somebody that you do love. Uh, outside of that, if, if anticipation was a prelude for Ready, then that makes that means that all the mixtape songs I did were a prelude for anticipation. Anticipation is to show that musically I can do whatever I want to do, you know, and that was just a portion of what Ready's gonna be like. So, um, what was your favorite collab on the album? Collab on the album, uh, artist-wise or production-wise, or um, either one. Uh, well, I always work with Troy Taylor. He's my favorite producer to work with because we have a chemistry like no other. Uh, Artist-wise, I think it was a special collaboration with Fabulous because he actually came in on the day of mastering, the day that the album was being completed. He, and his album actually came out that same week, so that was love right there. He went high and, and above and beyond my expectations to get it done on a song that probably wouldn't have been on the album had he not done it. Uh, you know, Drake is on the album on two two records, and so is Boy and Future Man is on the album, and those are all the features. Okay. Now, um, I know you have your philanthropy and you have your production company and whatnot, but are you working on any projects outside of that? Uh, well, Songs for Peace is definitely ongoing, and uh, that's something that's very special to me, something I hold close to my heart, and hopefully, uh, after this whole promo and, and promoting the album thing, we can tie it along with the tours and things of that nature. But, uh, right now, Ready is, is the most important thing I'm working on. Okay, and uh, where do you see yourself in 10 years? In 10 years, uh, I'm about to date. <laughs> I, I think about 10 years with the king, I hope so. 
hopefully successful and happy. Honestly. All right, so if you had to describe ready in three words, what would it be? I would not describe it in one breath. Spin it, talking like these lying niggas. Paper that they ain't spinning. Can you dig it, girl? I wanna leave with you so we can get it on. It's the last call and it's the last song.